Welcome, welcome, welcome. Clipped Up TV Science News, Technology News. Here I come to bring you information about how life is changing. We went from taking pictures, putting pictures in photo albums, to now not even having no photo album in our homes when company come over. It's all about looking at photos, pictures, and videos online. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, what have you. Just imagine all the information that's now embedded on your computer, on your phone. Highly sensitive information. Credit card numbers, first name, last name, social security, bank accounts, bank apps. I once knew a co-worker who lost his phone. He had bank apps, social media apps. You know, you can find a lot of information in people text messaging. And uh, he lost his phone. Whoever had his phone didn't report his phone back to him. Instead, they had easy access to all his information. All his bank accounts was open, you know. Because half the time, by us using technology, we're dumbing ourselves down. You know, we're not remembering our, our family member phone numbers. We're not remembering our passwords. There's a whole lot of information that we no longer remember. We leave it into the hand of the computer. We leave it into the hand of artificial intelligence. We leave it into the hand of save your password. So once you go back on particular websites, you don't even have to put in a, a username or a password. It knows who you are and it automatically opens up that website for you based upon the device that you have. Now, and if you gave permission to save password, to save credit cards, you must be beware. You could potentially get scammed. There's so many ways people could get your information. Have you ever took a rental car for vacation and you wanted to play some music on the road and you hooked your phone up to the Bluetooth device? Not the auxiliary cord, but the Bluetooth device. Once you hook your cell phone up to a Bluetooth device and a rental car, it sucks your information out, you know, because you have important things in there besides your playlist. You have your contacts. You know, nowadays in, in, in these technology cars, you can pretty much talk through your car when someone gives you a call. It, of course, it connects to your phone, but you don't necessarily have to have your phone in your hand you could talk through your speakers and a person on the other end will come through the speakers nowadays you can pull up to your home inside of your car you got your you got your link your link free that that your link free device that's connected to your garage what if you get your car stolen someone looks up your registration paperwork in the glove box they see where you live you're not home, you're on vacation. They roll up to your home in your car with your password already embedded for your garage door opener. So there's a whole bunch of sensitive information that we just have open to the public. You know, we, we're, we're using Wi-Fi in public places. That's another way you get your information too. You know, if, if you're not out here using the VPN, I suggest you to get a VPN, you know, it's an online protection, anytime you do online shopping, if you do browsing anywhere, you know, you're, you're protected, you know, there's certain features in your VPN, you know, there's certain features, you know, that you get with, with your, uh, such things that protect your, your, your computer or your laptop, you get information that, that, that's provided to you to let you know if someone has tampered. Uh, with a with an email let you know if someone has tampered with your social security number but who's behind that system it could be someone shady behind that system that's alerting you when someone's tapping into your system but it could be the people who created the system so 
I just want to give more information, more detail on how to better protect yourself, how to provide a defense mechanism online, on the internet, because we're growing. We went from 2.0 to now we're at 3.0. So now, just going to read a little bit of information to give you a little insight how to protect yourself. First, I want to let you know how you out there slipping, how you out there divulging information to these criminals, to these underworld scammers. So, you know, we talk about keeping private information private. Well, almost private in a sense. But do you really know how to keep your information private? Well, let's start with a discussion first and foremost. Now, there's all sort of buckets, different buckets of data which we store our information in. There's a personal bucket data. Now let me start with the personal bucket data. That includes such thing as I said before, your name, first name, middle name, last name. And sometimes your first name, middle name, last name could be a part of your password, could be a part of one of your secret questions if in case you forgot your password so there's a whole lot of information that a scammer can utilize to hit your bank account to hit your social media account to hit your cryptocurrency wallet you know so you also besides the name you have your birthday you have your work places you work you have the education you have address history you have information on your friends first name last name phone numbers and you have information on your each individual family member first last name and phone number so if you say well how is my friends and my family important information you know members uh, scammers they can utilize that Okay, they, they know your mom, first and last name. They know where you work. In most cases, you know, we always fill out like the emergency card, who to call in case of emergency while I'm at work. You know, you, you, you might have your mother first and last name on there. And a person, depending on where you work, you could work at a, a place where there's sensitive information. And you might, call in as a family member of that person that works there or you could use a family member as a way to show proof that it's really you but it's not you so there's a whole list of, of ways and, and, and not only that you know if you got kids kids at school and if there's a kidnapper want a kid and they know family member name oh yeah Carolyn your auntie Carolyn told me to pick you up okay but nowadays most most schools you know due to COVID they're 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 more uh, they're more strict on the rules they just don't have anyone picking them up nowadays so I, I do respect that a lot about the the schools now they're more on the lockdown since you know 2019 and they just don't let anyone pick your kid up. Nowadays, you can't even walk on the campus. You can't even walk to the classroom. You have to stay outside the gate. So, but prior to COVID, you know, you can use a relative name. Oh, uh, Uncle Jim said, come pick you up. You know, he's running late. You know, he told me to take you to football practice. Okay, we go out for ice cream. Okay, you know, you know how kids, they're very impressionable. So, there's also the financial bucket. We wrapped up the personal bucket, but there's also the financial bucket where it has a lot of information on you. You know, information you provided. You know, nobody took this out the, you know, out the middle of the air and, and provided information. This is your bucket with your information that you provided somewhere, either online, and when you. You, your whole source of submitting information could have been through a cell phone. You know, cell phones are pretty sensitive, especially if you're out in public. You know, it could have been a laptop or what have you. But, you know, 
some of the things that you include in your financial bucket that I include in my financial bucket are such things like credit cards, bank accounts, digital wallets, online payment, and payment and purchasing history. All that can be used against you. Not in the court of law, but in the court of scammers, manipulators, thieves. So besides the financial bucket where you have all your information, credit cards, bank accounts, payment history, digital wallets, online payments, there's a biometric bucket. Now, this is where technology gets a little great when it comes to protecting your identity, when it comes to protecting your information. They put more technical things in place where it's hard to even unlock or enter your personal space online. Now, what I mean by the biometric bucket and what we put in our biometric bucket is the face recognition. In order to unlock your personal laptop, you know, either face recognition, I think retina information, or you got your fingertip, you know. Besides face recognition, you got voice recognition. You know, I'm quite sure many times my phone was like, talking to me thought I said something thought I was searching for something I'm not searching for nothing but it recognized my voice and the dictation of my voice they also got fitness data trackers yeah your Fitbit watch uh, all these devices that keep track of your health while you're walking while you're running while you sleep that has a lot of important information on you as well and can be hacked easily by any hacker with the right knowledge. Now they also have device authentication tools and DNA analysis. So what I don't know what DNA analysis means to me that sounds like it's a doctor out there taking your blood and, and, and storing it somewhere and, and, and using it to, man, to manipulate or maybe even create another you. Yeah, that's right. They could take your DNA, splice it up, and create another you. Maybe another you or another cyborg, human type robot type of thing. Now, and also, everybody knows this due to algorithms, due to Google search, or computer, or phones. It keeps information on us, such as things we browse, such as things we search, relationships we in. You know, I know I know it's popular with females to always post they they new boyfriend or even a new husband. You know, you were just single just a year ago. You 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 didn't let your thing cool down and now you're out there hot trotting and you got another relationship but you don't know he out there scamming because it's April tax season and uh, he gonna do whatever whatever it takes to win you over he gonna do whatever it takes to make you feel like a queen so you know watch out for those relationships that you just got in because it was the holiday that person plotting on gifts or because it's tax season he plotting on your uh, tax return, trying to take money away from your kids, uh, trying to take money away from you and what you got going on. You know, there's people out there scamming. Whether it's on social media sites or dating sites, there's people out there looking to hook up with you to say, to tell you all the right things you need to hear. The player, which I call it. You know, I used to be a player in my day. Number one player from the Himalaya. <laughs> but anyway, you know, check your browsing history. You know you can delete your browsing history every time you exit a laptop or a computer. You know, just go to your settings, check on your cookies, delete your cookies uh, upon exiting, delete your uh, 
your, your, your traffic history, your search history, your browse history upon your exit. So that stuff never saves. I remember the old cell phones back in the day, like if, if you was trying to pay your credit card bill online, some phones, as you type the credit card number and just end, end the process, you can go back to the history where it was typed. So you have to evolve with technology. Or are you going to get left behind? Or are you going to get scammed off your behind? So wake up, people. So nowadays, we also have behavioral buckets, which we put interactions, interactions with devices and sensors. Now what this means to me, interactions with devices, of course, we have our cell phone, we got our tablet. There's so many devices we can use to get online nowadays. We, we, we got our, our smart watches. The, the list can go on. So interactions, devices, I told you devices, sensors, sensories. What, what that mean to me is maybe on, on a, a 3D virtual reality, augmentation reality basis, you know, where we put on the gear, we put on gloves in our hands, you know, they got these sensors. So say if your loved one was out of state, your friend was out of state, you know, you wanted to hug your woman, you can actually feel the hug because she got her gear on, you got your gear on, you got sensors on your fingers, you got a, you got a sensor around your chest, you, you can feel an actual hug, but it's not an actual hug. But the sensors that they are updating now when it comes to such devices like Oculus, Quest, you know, any VR headset, they're implementing the gloves. The, the the body gear and soon leg gears and other advancements so and not only these devices do us any harm but it do us even greater harm when we keep our location on okay some people might keep their location on because they always doing a little google map trying to get to point a to point z but when you're done, turn your location tracking off. People can track you. People can find your location. And they can manipulate you. So there's different ways they can scam you from locating your location. <laughs> and if they know you're not home and you're located four or five miles away they have enough time to hit your house because they 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 got you trapped they can take the time hitting your house make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich while rummaging through your your underwear drawer looking for loose change so more than ever people we need to keep our minds right our eyes open and say something you know because I can learn from you, you can learn from me. If you went through something, I'm not trying to go through it. So if I can learn from your experience, say so. Because each piece of data is important. Taken together, even just a few pieces of data can give a business or a bad guy the keys to our kingdom. Ever wonder why a search for a product on one device leads to ads for a competitor product on another. Many companies legally buy and sell customer data to track your purchases. Oh man. Remember that terms of service agreement you just clicked on when you downloaded that last app? You just gave some unknown company in some unknown country the right to peek in your digital life whenever it wants to. That's one thing I would say. When you download those apps, I think we all need a separate device that just stores apps. Now, this separate device shouldn't include no contact information. This separate device should not include no pictures. And this separate device shouldn't even be a device you actually conversate on. Whether it's 
verbally or whether it's typing you know because as you know when you download any app whether new old current it wants permission to your contacts it wants permission to your gallery it even wants permission to your microphone and your in your camera and they can utilize this information anytime they want to you don't even have to be utilizing the app now some apps do give you a chance to say no to this say no to that I only accept this I only accept that but majority of it you have to agree to every term and every condition and majority of the time we're just clicking it's an app we like so yes 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 we click into the agreements and don't even know what the agreement is it's like we just sold our soul and don't even know why so yeah those apps can be pretty dangerous so I, I, I just figure maybe it won't be as dangerous if we just download apps on a device that is just strictly for apps we don't have pictures on there unless it's business related you we don't have text we don't have contacts of family and friends so just think about it take heed like what you hear hit that click button you like what you hear go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification and also you know the bad guys they hard at work your data can mean big bucks for cyber criminals who sell your information to the dark web from anywhere from a thousand dollars and to anywhere as low as one dollar yes one dollar because one dollar in some other countries could mean a whole lot and have these scammers they be coming from places like India and, and other, co other countries outside of the United States so I know it's kind of impossible to check your list and ch check it twice, but if you don't, you're going to find out somebody was naughty and not nice. So go out there to every tablet in your home and set your privacy settings. I mean, set your privacy, privacy settings on every device, every browser in your home. Get that VPN, people. Get that VPN. Use strong and unique passwords for each of your accounts. Yeah, don't be using the same password for one account. Because they break in one, they're going to break into everything. Don't share your passwords. Don't share your online accounts. I don't care if they're friends or family members. They can get the same account. They can get the same app that you got don't share your information people monitor your accounts for unusual activity you know monitor it. it's always good to monitor your accounts you know you got it you got to be your own policeman you know check your credit reports regularly you might see some on your credit report that shouldn't even be there you know that's one way to find out if somebody is getting over on you and you know you can always get a free I think you can get a free credit report maybe like once a year or once a month depending on who you go through I know if you got like a credit card like I got credit cards they give you a free option to download you know from Experian TransUnion um, I don't know the other one but you, you guys do but you can download your credit report for free and, and, and see if you owe anyone or if someone put a, a, a cell phone in your name in Mexico and, and, and charge it up about two three thousand that actually happened to me one time had a Sprint PCS phone went to Great America was on one of them roller coaster rides phone fell out I got calls from Mexico, Arizona, in a matter of hours, <laughs> not minutes, <laughs> I mean not days, but hours. It's crazy out there, folks. And during the pandemic, <laughs> everybody home on a laptop trying to find ways to either get over or even trying to find ways 
to, to manipulate. So I just wanted to bring this information to all my clicked up followers on clicked up TV. Keep your information tight. Keep your information safe. You know, build a defense. You know, check on your, your credit reports. Make sure your settings are set right. Delete your history. Delete your cookies. You know, change those passwords may, maybe every 90 days. You know, make it unique. But don't fall. Don't fall for the okie doke. It's scammers out there and they're working hard. We just got to work hard. Harder. So, thank you for watching. You like what you hear. You know, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. I'm out.